uh, howdy gamers, it's been a while. So I know a lot of you guys are probably pretty disappointed in me. <laughs> Your uh, virgin overlord finally succumbed to Fortnite. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video, you guys saw what I've been working on for like the past few weeks, which is basically just a giant meme taj or shit post. Very inspired by the YouTubers like Albino or Albino, I don't really know how to say his name. And like Too Mad. Albino actually followed me back on Twitter. I had a little fanboy moment there. But honestly, I was really just bored of all the games that are out right now. Like there's really nothing that I was really willing to grind. Now that the Destiny 2 uh, Solstice event is going on, I've been grinding that a lot. So if any of you guys come out to my Twitch streams, you'll probably be seeing me play a lot of Destiny 2, getting ready for the Forsaken DLC, which I'm really excited for. But yeah, I was really just bored, just like content creation wise. There wasn't really any games I really wanted to play. And then I saw the Fortnite experience and saw all of Albino's videos. Albino, like, again, I'm sorry if I'm fucking saying his name wrong. It looks like Albino, but in the intro to his videos or whatever, you just hear, Albino, you fucking idiot. And so their videos look like a lot of fun. And so I hopped on Fortnite at the beginning of season five. And yeah, the past couple weeks, I've just been playing that and editing that video. <laughs> but I am back now. And some people were asking in the comments of yesterday's video, if they're going to see a lot more Fortnite on this channel. And I do plan on making more videos in the future, but I'm not going to be spamming you guys with Fortnite content at all. Like I wanted to make a video on like me getting my first solo win because I still don't have a solo win. And then I do want to make more of those like shit posty meme tages in the future as well. Here, let's hop into a game. So I'm not just screaming at you guys' faces. But yeah, it's definitely not going to be like me just spamming you guys with Fortnite content. I really, I still hate the fact that Fortnite's such a popular game to the point where that's all you see on YouTube and Twitch anymore. It's just Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. That's the reason why I despise the game in the first place. But getting into the game and then making the meme taj, it was actually a lot of fun. I know I'm a huge hypocrite for playing the game, but I had a fun time. And then if you guys didn't know, which is what this video is all about, is uh, the store RC is actually going on right now. And I am going to be participating in it. This is actually the first RC that I'm going to be going for in a long long time. And I think the main reason is just because they're actually recruiting just everybody in this RC. They don't care what you do. Like they're legit, like recruiting like photographers, content creators, pro players, streamers on any game in between. So it's not strictly going to be just COD, which is why I'm going to be going for it because I really don't want to join just being a COD player. You guys know, I've never really been a COD player, which is actually funny because I'm going to show you guys a clip later this video that I hit during the Black Ops 4 beta, which is not a normal thing for me. I don't usually hit clips. I'm much more of a just you know, like make you guys laugh and just entertain you guys for a while while making fun of myself kind of guy. Uh, virginity is divinity and not too long from now, it's going to be my hairline. Everyone's going to be making fun of, guarantee it. But yeah, so for the Sora RC, I am going to be making both videos and then also streams. I'm going to try my very best to do either one or the other every single day while this RC is going on, which is all the way to the 31st, I believe. Shit, that's going to be when I'm going to PAX, isn't it? It is. Oh shit. Yeah, whatever. It'll be the end of the RC. Either way though, you guys can definitely expect at least either a video or a stream every single day while the RC is going on. I'm going to be trying to do a, a combination of both for sure. And like really nothing's going to change. My content isn't really going to change. I'm just going to be grinding more content than usual. My armor looks so shit. I can't wait until I get this legendary armor. But one of the big reasons I really did want to go for this Sora RC is just because I have so many friends in Sora. Sora actually has a Destiny side too, which is definitely something I'm going to be grinding in September. Going to be streaming Destiny like 24-7 once September hits. I actually already have work off for the first day Forsaken drops, which is September 4th. I got a vacation day for work on that. And then I also have a vacation day for the raid, which is going to be really awesome because I've never competed in the world's first race for a raid before. And so I actually have a vacation day for when that raid goes live. Usually the raids in Destiny go live about a week or two after the DLC drops. And so I am going to be streaming that and competing for the world's first raid completion. That is it's something I've never done before. And I've always wanted to, am I going to get world's first? Probably not, but if I can complete it that day and be one of the first teams to actually complete the raid, I'll be really satisfied. And so, of course, like the main thing I'm going to be doing in September that first week or two is just streaming 24-7 Destiny 2 and trying to level up so that I'm raid ready when the raid drops. I love this submachine gun so much. Hello! All right, but I think it's about time I showed you guys this clip. If you guys don't know what it is, I actually tweeted it out. It was the first weekend of the BO4 beta when I hit it. It was on PS4, and it's actually the best sniper clip I've ever hit in a Call of Duty ever. Like, obviously, you guys know I'm pretty well known for just the revolver clips. I hit the insane, like, 17 or 18 man that Jason reacted to. It's, like, one of my most viewed videos on my channel because Jason, like, shouted it out in a video. And so it's not my best clip ever, but it's my best sniper clip ever. Like, I'm not a huge sniper. I usually go for revolver clips clips, knifing clips, uh, unique shit like that. I'm horrible at quick scoping, so I've never really been a good sniper. And so I'll show you guys this clip right now. Oh, oh, 
Oh, copy. Oh. Wow. This guy, he. The maximized guy, he got. Yeah. Oh, wow. Shout out. Bro, I hate what them sniper it? niggas. And so yeah, it wasn't really a banger or anything. Definitely nothing that's never been done before. And I've seen a lot of people hit single triples or triple singles on the beta already. But I mean, for me, like you guys know, I don't hit clips like that, like at all, ever. <laughs> so for me to hit a triple single, I was very hyped. And I was actually playing with uh, Curtis or FaZe Dirty at the time. But I was in the Discord call with him and I was like freaking the fuck out. I was so hyped. I was actually really excited when I found out that they actually added a revolver in the beta because I wasn't even going to play the beta and I wasn't going to pre-order BO4 if they didn't add a revolver. I've said that multiple times. He's going for revolver clips in hardcore is really the only thing that I love to do in a Call of Duty game. It's like what I'm known for going back to that 17 man clip. And so the day the beta actually launched, I had a couple people tweeting at me saying, yo, they added a revolver, they added a revolver. And so I downloaded the beta and of course, sure enough, they actually have a revolver in BO4 and I am so excited and looking at the attachments it's literally like the perfect thing for me it's amazing they've got long barrel they've got the quick reloader i'm pretty sure i even saw the i don't know what the attachment's called the grip that makes it so you can aim down sights faster like the attachments and the mod there's a mod for the gun if you guys don't know in bo4 they've got a new thing called like weapon mod so when you get the max rank with the weapon you there's an attachment you can put on it that makes the gun just ridiculously op for the sniper it makes it so like the no scope accuracy is like a hundred percent which is why you guys probably saw in the bo4 beta there were tons of people just hitting no scopes left and right because the no scope accuracy with that mod on it is something i don't know what it is exactly because i never got it it basically makes it so you almost never miss with no scopes though it's ridiculous they're definitely they gotta nerf that shit in the full game <laughs> that shit was broken and then for the revolver the mod that you get at max rank with that thing is it makes it so it doesn't matter what game mode or anything you're playing if you get a headshot with the revolver it's an insta kill no matter what and so to put that mod on a revolver is pretty fucking nuts so you could be playing normal game modes and just be going for headshots and you can just be popping kids off left and right the mod system in bo4 is very cool i was really wanting to play some gameplay for you guys today but the bo4 beta went down today and i didn't have time yesterday to play it actually i did but i was grinding destiny i really want the full legendary armor set before the dlc drops but yeah bo4 um i was originally i wasn't going to get it but because they added the revolver and the revolver is literally like my dream revolver with all the attachments and everything on it it's the perfect weapon for me to go for clips and hardcore that is and so just thank you Vondahar so much for adding that thing like I said it's literally like my perfect revolver like I couldn't ask for a better revolver in the game and so I'm definitely going to be getting BO4 I'm actually planning on getting BO4 on both PC and PS4 however I'm only going to be playing multiplayer on PS4 and I wanted to get it on PC for the zombies and the blackout mode because I think those game modes are going to be amazing on PC especially if they add the zombies thing that they did with BO3 where you can create your own maps that was only on PC that wasn't on PS4 I was skeptical at first because I really haven't enjoyed a COD game in years, but this one looks promising. Like, the multiplayer wasn't so fun, I couldn't get my hands off of it. For some people, it was. Like, the guys in the grind squad were grinding that beta 24-7. For me, it was pretty meh, though, but that's honestly just because I couldn't play hardcore. I feel like in the base game, once I actually get my hands on the revolver and I can go for hardcore magnum clips, it's not a magnum revolver, but whatever. I can go for clips in hardcore with the revolver, which is what I like to do in COD games. I feel like I'm gonna enjoy it a lot more then. What is this guy doing? Well, okay, well, he DC'd. You fucking, I hate this. Fuck! I swear to fucking get the fuck away from me. I'm trying to think of what else I was wanting to talk about in this video. I wanted to talk about the clip, the Sor RC, the Destiny 2 Forsaken DLC. Uh, anything else? I don't know. I'm so bad at these commentaries. No wonder my views have fucking dropped. Oh, yeah, I finally got the DFA, by the way. Only took fucking, like, what was it? the third or fourth time it was the nightfall so this is the nightfall exclusive hand cannon it's arguably the best hand cannon in the game currently because it has the best base damage and then it also has a rampage which makes it so when you get a kill for the next few seconds it does more damage it stacks up to three times it's a really fun hand cannon it's really good in pve not that good in pvp in my opinion at least hand cannons are just obsolete they can't do shit in pvp because of the meta that's just my opinion of course if you like hand cannons in pvp that's fine i just fucking hate them in pvp PBs. If I can't three tap with the hand cannon, I can't do shit with it. Just everyone melts you before you can even get the fourth shot off. Can I? I shot you! But yeah, I'll show you guys a Twitch clip of me getting the DFA because it took literally over a hundred attempts while some of my mods, Zach and Cam, both of them got it on their fifth attempt doing it. 
Like, what? Why does. I think I got it. <laughs> oh! Ah! Dude, weapons that are random drops in this game absolutely fucking hate me. Took me over a hundred nightfall attempts to get the DFA. Like, you can bet your ass I'm never deleting this weapon ever. 100 attempts. 100 nightfalls to get this fucking weapon. Alrighty guys, but that is gonna have to do it for the video today. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a big fat thumbs up on the video for me because it would really help me out and I would really appreciate it a lot. Also, I will be live streaming Destiny 2 tonight, just grinding out more of this gear. For those of you who aren't familiar with the event, the whole Solstice event going on right now, basically you get the gear from the beginning of Destiny 2, the like broken gear or whatever you had, and you can basically level it up by doing all these different challenges and eventually you get some really badass looking gear. And so I've been trying to do that because the last day to do it is gonna be this 28th of August and then you can't get the armor after that and so I've really been trying to grind that out because I really want this armor so I'll be live streaming that later tonight hopefully you guys can come out to that but yeah thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you next time but until then this has been Max peace